What is up guys, Austin Joe here, and today we're reviewing these Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star characters of Dragon Ball Z. Um, so I'll go ahead and say I don't know a whole lot about Dragon Ball Z, so as you can see we have a whole collection here. I don't know a whole lot, like I know a couple characters' names and some stuff like that, but these are my brother fig brother's figures once again. And so I I'm just doing an opening and a review of them, um, just to show off what they do and stuff like that, and just, um, just more stuff about them. So these are made by Bandai, and so we'll go ahead and look at the back here, and so as I said, it's hard to see the title with the camera but it's Dragon Ball Z Super and so here's like a pack of the characters so this is Super Saiyan Goku as you can see there it's Dragon Ball or Dragon Star series there so I like the pictures here on the outside that's why I'm like this we'll go ahead and look at the back here so this has a build um, figure so it's a collect and build figure of Shinron so that's kind of cool that we get a um, different pieces and stuff to build with all these characters to build Shinra on the dragon there So in this set we have Super Saiyan Goku, Beerus, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Frieza, and Goku So as you can see we have all of these here And so this is all of series one I know they have multiple series that are starting to come out and like exclusive characters and stuff like that But this is just all of series one that we're going to do here So go ahead and start with the Super Saiyan Goku and move all the way to the end and build um, Shinra at the very end So I'll just go ahead and open each one of them and first up here we have Super Saiyan God Goku. So this is Goku with in the Super Saiyan form, obviously. So he has the yellowish hair, which oh, it's hard to see, but the paint is actually like a gold or metallic color. Like you can kind of see it there. I don't know how well it comes across on the camera and stuff, but he does. It is like metallic paint-wise and stuff. You can see like the shininess of it and stuff. But it does. It's wearing the normal outfit. So like I said, it's Goku. So just in Super Saiyan form. So that's why he's different hair color. But his outfit's exactly the same as the normal Vo Goku. So we'll see that at the very end. Um, so there's not much to this. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. Like I know some of the character names, but I don't know anything much about him. So I don't, like don't know how to describe it much and everything. But he does have, as I said, clothing wise, uh, like the all purple or orange like outfit I don't know what they call it and stuff with a blue underlying as you can see there under the shoulders and then he's got blue wrist things a belt and then shoes and stuff which I like the um, kind of like ropes here or whatever around the shoes I like the way they look on this um, but other than that there's like not much more to it they are super articulate which is kind of funny now that I think about stuff but they have like all sorts of joints and double jointed and stuff the hips um, which on one of them will look really kind of crazy and stuff but they have a lot of like movement and articulation and stuff that um, can help them, you know, help you pose them and everything, and put them in all different sorts of like stances and everything. So these are kind of cool that you can um, get and just do all sorts of things with. But I thought it was funny. I was like when I was opening them and kind of getting them to move, readjusted and stuff. I was like, wow, these remind me a lot of the Power Ranger figures. And then I thought about it even more. And I was like, oh yeah, they're made by Bandai, so which also makes the Power Ranger figures. So they're like exactly the same, just different characters, obviously. So there's the Super. Saying Goku and it does also come with the head of Shinron so we have that part to be ready to build there so we'll just kind of sit it over here to the side and then each character does come with two more hands so like open hands so instead if, if you don't want the fist and want to do something other what um, wise with like moves and stuff you can put these hands on instead so you each character will have these so I'll just show them to you but just know that each of them has it so that's it for the Super Saiyan Goku the next up we have Beerus here I think is how you say the name I'm not exactly sure so this looks like an Egyptian cat and I think it looks cool I remember seeing this character for the first time a few years ago in like some movie it was like the god movie or something i don't know exactly what it's called of Dragon Ball Z. i know we have it um but i just think it looks cool so it looks like a hairless cat as you can see by its head it's got the giant ears i like how it's got like a piercing there on its ear and stuff and then of course the neck collar then it's got like a part like of an egyptian like collar here along with the um like piece hanging down from the belt and everything then it's got all sorts of gold all over it so you can see the armbands and the wristbands and around the ankles and stuff and so I just think it looks so cool and it's got a tail like a cat suit and of course as with the last one in the articulation this one doesn't move I guess as much it just kind of goes in like a circle around it um, but they have all sorts of articulation and stuff and it's got a blue like belt thing with this piece hanging off and then blue pants and brown shoes and I like how you can see the legs and stuff there so I just think it looks really cool like this character doesn't look like super imposing or intimidating like you know just looks like a cat in a funny outfit but I think it looks really cool um, and it, I believe it's really good I'm not exactly sure but then it comes with so as I mentioned it does come with two hands so um, open hands on like the purple 
stuff. I think that's cool. And then we get the neck of Shenron, so they continue on building that. And then we also get with it, we get instructions here, so on how to build uh, Shenron and stuff like that. And then I think it's all pretty cool. And this is one thing that I really uh, noticed, like that this is made by Power Rangers because their instructions look exactly like this and are laid out and have all the same wording stuff. And then it does also come with the stand for Shinron. So once you build Shinron and put it together, it has this nice stand that you can put it on that you can uh, sit in in these like hooks and stuff. And it's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see as it um, has like the, uh, it's kind of like sloped here. So when you put these in, it um, has like the bottom of them are sloped too so you know which way to put them in so it's not you know you can't like turn them around or anything they're just they go in one position to be able to hold chin on so I'll set that aside to be able to build it in a little bit but like I said I don't know anything else like I said much to say about this but I think it looks really cool but that's going to be it for Beerus then next up we have Vegeta. So Vegeta is a character I remember a lot from the show when I was younger and Dragon Ball Z would be on. I remember uh, uh, Vegeta and Goku a lot were the two I always remembered um, but this is Vegeta as you can see he's got the black hair so it looks kind of like the Super Saiyan hair but it's just like his normal hair I guess and then you can see his face too I like how they even put the like uh, anime marks and stuff like under the line and on his eye and stuff to show like some character and stuff to him so there's a look at his face which I haven't done that to sh uh, show their faces but he has a really like stiff I don't know like a thick neck and stuff so he's like really muscular guy and stuff of course character you can't really tell but like you can tell by his neck like just how thick it is compared to other characters where they have a lot more movement his head can't move a whole lot because of how big his neck is but he's in an all blue outfit and then he's got the um little like armor here i don't know if any of this has names or anything like i said i'm not too familiar with dragon ball z but i know um i want to say that's like the saiyan uh outfit or something like that with like i said this armor piece on his chest and then he's got white gloves and white boots and stuff again with more of the like gold color there on it on him and stuff um but there's that of course a lot of articulation as i mentioned and um, he doesn't really have anything else, so I thought he'd have, you know, like a belt or something. Looks like you can kind of see his abs coming through, sticking under his uh, jacket there, or um, armor. But there's not much more to him. Like I said, these characters are so plain, there's nothing really to go along with them. But it does come with the upper arms of Shinron, so we got like upper body, torso area, and two arms there. So we got first set of arms on Shinron, and then of course two open hands that you can replace the fist with if you want to do that instead. But that's going to be it for Vegeta. And to go along with that, we got Super Saiyan Vegeta. So this is Vegeta now in his Super Saiyan form. So he's dressed exactly the same, so there's no clothing difference or anything. Except for maybe, um, so actually comparing the two characters... If I pull them both o both over here, it's kind of hard to see in the camera. But the Super Saiyan, his clothes are a lighter shade of blue, and then it has like some sh uh, like shading or darkening going on in like around the muscles and joints, I guess, to help make them stand out more. But other than that, they're dressed exactly the same because obviously it's the same guy and stuff. But to make it show that it's a, the Super Saiyan, it does have the gold hair again. This is like a gold or um, metallic yellow paint, which again it's hard to see on the characters in the camera, but it is. And then um, his face is pretty much the same, except for also his eyebrows um, get turned in the gold color as well. But he still has all the lines and everything on it. Still the thick neck, so his head doesn't move very much, but still has all the articulation stuff. And like I said, you can see the different colors and shading going all around there on the muscles and everything that they added into it. But once again, there's nothing much more to add to Vegeta except for that. But then we do have the midsection of Shinron here. So this goes obviously between the set of arms and legs or whatever you want to call it. And then he does have the two open hands as well. So that's going to be it for Super Saiyan Vegeta. Then next up here we have Frieza. And this is Frieza in the final form. So I don't know what the forms are different besides I... Pretty sure it has the big giant head because I don't remember um, really seeing Frieza have the big giant head. It could have, but it was in the anime, so um, I don't know if it really had that giant head or not. But this Frieza is like super articulate. So of course it has a tail that can like spin here, and then it's got um, I guess it can can move a little bit like back and forth as you can see the joint there and stuff. But then it has legs. Like look at the gap between the legs and then like how much it can move. So you can have it out and then you can kind of like move it up and down to the side and stuff to get more stuff and it's got the feet I think the three toed 
foot thing or looks almost like a hand um, it's kind of cool but like this Frieza has like super articulation compared to all the other characters um, but I think just though because it's not um, as thick of body and stuff like that as all the others but then as I mentioned it does have a giant head it, like how it looks like ears there that are all blacked out but it's got this giant head with the like purple it looks purple on here blue in the camera but it's like a purple color on the chest the arms the uh, our arms legs shoulders and stuff I like all that addition of the color I like purple and stuff so it's kind of cool to see it then it's got all sorts of like a darkening and stuff again going around the muscles and stuff I guess to help make them stand out more and everything but all around all the joints and stuff it's all spray painted or uh, sprayed or whatever to make it look darker and stuff but again I don't know why it's the final form like I said I don't know what the different forms are um, for Frieza but that's just what it is it does come with, as mentioned before, hands, so um, as you can see, it's got like, looks like nail polish on its hands, but it's probably just darkening of the nails and stuff that it had on the feet and the hands, so it's got two open ones, and then it also has a pointing hand, so this is the only one that comes with another hand, and this one's pointing, so I don't know exactly what po pointing it has or what the point of it is. Oh, I get it. You get it at the point. Um, but anyway, so um, I don't know why it has a pointing, but I'm sure if you know about Dragon Ball Z, you probably understand why. And then it comes, of course, with Shinron, and it's got Shinron's feet here, so the bottom half of the feet. And we're almost done now with Shinron, but there's that part that comes with that. And so that is it for Frieza in final form. And last here, we have Goku. So again, this is the other character I remember a lot from the show. And this is kind of, I believe, at least like the main character of the show of Goku here. And so here we saw the Super Saiyan Goku and the very first character. And so now we just have regular Goku. So we have his old classic here in the black version. It's just kind of all sticking up everywhere. I like the whole anime hair, as they call it and stuff. Just that sticks up everywhere and stuff. And so there's a look at his face they're showing, and he has the black eyes. And of course, I'll pull the Super Saiyan version up here to compare him and everything. But he has the same orange and blue outfit and shoes and everything, again, with the ropes around him and everything. And it's just pretty much just all the same. So I'll pull up the other one here so you can see a difference. So obviously, they have the different hairstyles and colors. So the Super Saiyan version has the gold, where he, the normal Goku has black. But you can also tell that their outfits are different. So the Super Saiyan has a lighter color orange compared to the normal Goku having the darker color orange. But the blues look pretty much the same maybe the super saiyan a little bit lighter in color but they're still um, very close though but as you can see they look exactly like just this one has um blonde or the gold color even on the eyebrows where this one has the black and stuff making them look different uh, but their necks aren't as or at least their heads aren't as muscular so they can move as you can see a lot have a lot more movement to them compared to what Vegeta could um, and their different versions um, but other than that there's not much to them like I said they're dressed all exactly alike that we already saw so let's stand Goku up there for a second and so Goku of course comes with two open hands so you can switch those out if you want and then comes with the last two pieces of Shenron so we have like the last body segment and then the tail here for Shenron that we can put all together which we will do next so that's going to be it for Goku. So now we have all the pieces here for Shinron to put together and of course the stand to stick it on. So I'll go ahead and put them together and bring it back. Okay so I got Shinron on here or put together and on the stand which was getting on the stand was really weird and confusing. So we got Shinron so I didn't see the head starts here it winds around goes through the back here around the front under the head where we got the bottom feet of course the arms up there and it winds around with the tail and then comes back through down through to the bottom as you can see there and so to get on the stand this part over here was super confusing on how to get it so of course it has the weird just like hook shaped in this one we had you know just like a Y which rests you so you just sit that on there and then this front peg has a little like hook or kind of like uh, peg thing or something that goes on into which I guess it's not in there there it's supposed to go into Shinron's chin but like it's turned all weird and stuff and I can't figure it out but it sits on there so that's all that matters I guess that you know it doesn't fall off or anything and so that's really cool I like the way it looks and of course it's just floating it'd be awesome if it was a lot bigger and stuff you know to go with the dragon ball characters because you know see the size difference and of course Shinron is huge and humongous humongous if I rem remember right but I still think it looks really cool and stuff but that's going to be it for this Dragon Ball Z Super Dragon Star Series 1 set of characters here that of course have the build a figure of Shenron that we have sitting here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments down below which character is your favorite out of all of Dragon Ball Z or the set of Dragon Ball Z or in general all of them. And then don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time.